That's all right, mate. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. It was, uh, I, d I knew what I was going to do. You know what I mean? Like, everyone's lapping it up, and that. Him being the Cinderella man. Yeah, The only thing is, it's hard because he's a nice guy. So, like, before the fight, I had to keep psyching myself up and not falling into the trap of, like, not punishing him or whatnot. But then he said a few things fight week that helped me loads as well. But. Do you think now you've done that to him in such, like, emphatic fashion, uh, fashion, you think you've kind of hit a new level? Do you feel like people are kind of respecting you as one of the best in the world? I think, yeah, I've, got a, I've gained a lot more respect from the tie at any fight than I did the Amma Williams fight. I thought it would have been, been the other way around. Um, but now, like they know I'm a kind of force to be reckoned with in the 160 division. Now all I've got to do is solidify a world title, win a world title, and then that's it. Like once you once you've done that, you're there and you're there, and then your names are up there and the likes of Canelo, the likes of all these big, big, big fighters. And we know who you're here to see. What have you made of Chris Eubanks' antics in the past couple? Interesting. Of weeks? I just see him walk in with like a sort of Saudi sword and whatnot. Um, all a bit cringe. I find it a bit cringe to be fair, but at the same time, he has been out of the limelight for a year now, so. He doesn't know how to kind of react back into it and act natural back into it all again. He's just forcing everything. But then again, he is 35, 35 years old. I'd be doing the same thing if I was as old as him. It's what it is. And that video of him kind of categorically saying he doesn't want to fight you, what, yeah. what was your reaction? Well, that made no sense. He was contradicting himself. A week ago, they asked him, he said, yeah, five million's not, uh, what's five million now if I can get however much in the future? And then he's saying, I don't want to fight Hamza. No one knows who Hamza is. So I don't know, I don't know, I think he's all a bit confused right, right now at the minute. But listen, I'm hoping he gets the job done and I'm hoping he gets it done in devastating fashion because when we do get in the ring, and I'm sure it will happen sooner or later, it'll make the fight a much bigger fight than what it is now. And Frank's comments on, on the Canelo fight? Crazy that, yeah, crazy that. Um, I was on that call actually, I was on that call with him, it was a FaceTime call and the decision he made was obvious, listen. That was before the Amma Williams fight, so I didn't have that experience then. So it was kind of it was a surreal moment, surreal moment. But listen, I've said it before. I reckon in about two years, God willing, inshallah, everything goes the way I want it to. I don't see why I can't be in the ring against the likes of Canelo and be like the superstar of boxing. Thank you, my Thank you very much. Yeah. Cheers.